Look at that, baby. You see the onion. You see the bell pepper. And you know I got some herbs up in here, up in here, y'all. Hey y'all, what's up? This is your girl E checking in. In today's video, you guys, I am going to make some chicken. And this is not the like the normal chicken. This is a hen chicken. Okay, the hard chicken, you guys. As you can see, I had already show you guys, so I will put it next. How I wash my meat, clean it, and all that good stuff. You guys already know the drill. Okay. So that's it. After you know your girl wash it, clean it, steam it, and all that good stuff, right? So I have some of that green seasoning in there. Now I'm gonna show you guys what other season I will be using. Stay tuned, y'all. Alright, you guys, this is the seasoning that your girl will be using. Alright, as you can see, I have a double all-purpose seasoning, you guys. I love, 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 love this season right here. Saison Tropical. <laughs> okay, okay, the Saison Tropical. Love, love, love this season. And I have some paprika right here. And I know I ain't making ox look, but you guys, I love the flavor of this season right here. As you can see, ox seasoning and Cajun seasoning, garlic powder, and I have the black pepper right here. And you guys feel free to use whatever seasoning you guys like to use, whatever you prefer. Okay, so I will leave a measurement down in the comment below. So be sure to check that out, you guys. So yeah, let's go ahead and add our seasoning. All right. You know what you guys I'm gonna use the pack instead all right I'm gonna use this and I am gonna use the whole pack y'all more garlic remember the green season already have plenty of garlic y'all you can never go wrong with garlic you can add as much garlic you want to add it's not gonna make your food salty or anything like that so yeah feel free to add as much garlic you like as well black pepper we're gonna add the black pepper all right guys we're gonna go ahead and mix this very very well so y'all stay tuned and I'm gonna show you guys the finished product and as well you can leave this um, marinated overnight or you can just let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes or 40 minutes if you like so the season it could be like you know what I'm saying so they could be married and all that good stuff they could get to know each other you know they're gonna talk to each other let me stop but yeah you can leave it to 20 to 30 minutes which that's what I am gonna do right now I am not gonna let this sit overnight but yeah you guys I'll be back All right, you guys as you can see the meat looks so good so we're gonna let it sit then we're gonna come back and start cooking y'all all right so stay tuned you guys y'all this chicken ain't even cooked yet look how good it looks you guys it looks so good and it smell good y'all look at this All right, you guys, as you can see right now, I have my chicken on the stove. It's cooking, you guys, all right? So what I'm gonna do, since this chicken is gonna take a very, very long time to cook, you guys, about two to three hours, maybe three hours and a half, because it is hard, okay? They call it hard chicken. So yeah, it is a hen chicken that I am cooking. So yeah, you guys, we're gonna see. 
I am adding some water, okay? That's how I like to do it because I want it to be cooked. We're gonna do, you know, the little extra stuff after. But as it right now, y'all, we're just gonna add the water, you guys. And if you have chicken broth or beef broth, whatever you wanna add instead of the using water, but I prefer to use water, you guys. So yeah, that's what that's what I prefer to use. So yeah, you guys, we're gonna let this come to a boil, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna put it on seven, okay? So yeah, you guys, that's what we're doing. We're gonna come back and check on our chicken. So y'all stay tuned, all right? Guys, it has been an hour, well not yet, close to an hour, you guys. So let's go ahead and check on our meat, okay? you guys we are back this is what the meat is looking like you guys it is like three minutes left um it's gonna make it two hours i'm sorry it's gonna make it two hours since the meat has been cooking this is what we're looking like so far yes ma'am i am gonna add some tomato paste all right in there and i'm gonna stir it okay and I'm gonna let it come then, you know, I'm gonna let it continue cooking, you guys. So yeah, I'll be back when I'm gonna add the onion, you know, all that good stuff, you guys. So stay tuned, y'all. This is what the meat is looking like. Looking super gorgeous. Okay. It I am going to add in, um, a little bit of a little bit more of the green seasoning, you guys. Then I am gonna be adding some onions and bell pepper, cause right now I'm just gonna let the meat fry in there, okay? And add whatever other seasoning I wanted to add, because at this point, you guys. The meat is almost there, semi-soft, but I'm gonna let it go for a little bit more tenderized. Yeah, so I like it more when it's like tender. All right, you guys, as you can see, I have my onions, my bell peppers in there. So right now, I am gonna go ahead and stir it, okay? It smells so good, you guys, so, so so good y'all and when I tell you baby it smells so good all right let me go ahead and get to work y'all all right you guys I went ahead and add some dry bay leaves and some dry cilantro not cilantro um some dry Italian seasoning you guys all right Y'all, as you can see, I went ahead and added a little bit more of seasoning. Y'all, I like my food super tasty, okay? Taste as you go. You want to taste the seasoning, you know? So, yeah, you guys, this is what I just did, okay? Ooh, looking good, baby. All right, you guys, as you can see, I went ahead and added some um, thyme and um, parsley in there. I do have some cilantro over here, but yeah, I'm not gonna add any more because um, I had already added some in my green seasoning. So yeah, you guys, this is what it's looking like. Baby, when I tell you the flavor in this right here, baby, 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 ooh, so good. 10 out of 10. Can y'all say 10 out of 10? Oh, 10 out of 10, girl. Let me stop playing. I be bragging about my food, but it just be so good. Look at the color. Looking like tropical. You already know Island Girl.
Yeah, get into it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. All right, you guys, right now we're just gonna let it simmer down. I'm gonna go ahead and cover, and I am gonna be cooking some rice. Okay, so yeah, you guys, stay tuned for the finished product. Here we is. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, here's the rice. You guys, your girl made white rice. And this is basmatic rice, and as well, here's the finished product, baby. When I tell you this thing looks so tropical, look at all the details. We're gonna say the details, okay? Look at that, baby. You see the onion, you see the bell pepper, and you know I got some herbs up in here, up in here. Y'all, this is so good, y'all. So flavorful. I love the flavor on um, the flavors. It ha I have bay leaves. I have, I already told you guys, you guys saw it. You guys saw Italian seasoning. We have um, parsley, the cilantro, the green season, baby, baby, baby. We're going to say, baby. Yes, it's so good, y'all. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, you guys. Until next time, e-babes, I love you all so, so much. And if you are new here, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know you are new down below, baby, so I can, like, give you guys a nice warm welcome. And, yeah, you guys, your girl is out. And, yeah, I'll take a little, um, little plate so you guys can see, okay? All right, love you, e-babes. Bye. this conclude the video you guys don't forget to always put God first ebay's jesus love you guys we love you guys and this is the finished product see you on the next one